Hey swimmers, Celeste from Triathlon Skills and Simple Swims. I want to get back to you about uh, the recovery arm and how to make that motion. I made a comment in an earlier video that it's like putting on deodorant, that motion through your shoulder of lifting your elbow up and bringing that arm towards your head. So when you are putting on that deodorant in the stroke cycle is moving from the recovery arm, bringing that elbow towards your head, there's that motion when you're gonna put, put on the deodorant. And then when you're gonna put your hand in the water is when your two elbows are parallel from each other. So my recovery arm motion is that motion through the shoulder. My elbows are now aligned. That's when I'm going to transition to the other side and take that stroke. Now from behind, not doing, um, uh, putting on the deodorant and actually bringing the shoulder blades towards the spine looks like this. So that right shoulder blade is moving in towards the spine and the elbow is drawing back. And that puts a lot of strain and pressure on your shoulders and on your neck muscles. As you're stroking along and that hand touches your thigh, to bring it forward, you want to be bringing your elbow towards your head. Okay, so it makes sense, right, in your mind that when your hand is on your thigh and you're like, oh, I've got to get my hand out of the water, that you might have to pull it back to get it out of the water and come around. Okay, so logically, that seems like what you want to do, but instead, try this. It's easier on your shoulders, it's easier on the shoulder blades and the neck muscles is that when that hand is here in the stroke and you're recovering your arm forward, is to plan to bring that elbow forward towards your head as opposed to drawing it back, okay? So a good way to practice is to go down on the floor uh, and practice at home. It's a little uncomfortable, but it's a good way to kind of practice and get that mind-body connection to the movement that you want to have versus what you're already doing and then you don't have to worry about the breathing or the balance or any of that kind of stuff so do it down on the floor so here we go uh, your orientation can be really kind of wonky when you're standing up trying to get it versus laying down so that's why it's really helpful to be on the floor going through some of these processes so if i'm on the floor i'm in the I'm imagining that i'm in the water i want to do that side lateral raise Okay, that putting on of the deodorant when I'm here. So bringing that elbow forward makes a nice triangle shape of the recovery arm and a lot uh, broader across the back. Okay, so I want this motion of bringing my elbow towards my head versus drawing the arm back, drawing the elbow back. Okay, so that's what this looks like, which is probably what many people do. This is the wrong way or kind of more strain and stress on your shoulders and on your neck is that pulling back action and bringing the shoulder behind the head. Okay, so instead of pulling the shoulder blade back and lifting the elbow and bringing that shoulder head back this way, okay, from here, simply allow that elbow to move forward, keeping the elbow pointed toward the ceiling, okay? So it looks like this and then a switch. The movement through the shoulder is that side lateral raise triangle shape. Keeping that nice wide triangle forward and then switch. Okay, so in this action, this motion here is when I'm putting on that deodorant. Okay, so that's the action through the shoulder, bringing the elbow forward. So going from standing vertical to horizontal. Okay, where I stop is right where those elbows align, and then I transition. This is a shot from above, so I'm actually standing up in the water. So you can see that it's nice and broad from shoulder to shoulder. There isn't that drawing the shoulder blades back of that right arm. It's staying nice and open, and even when taking a breath, so there's no change when the head turns to not draw that shoulder back, but keep that nice side lateral lift and the elbow moving forward towards the head. 
Notice how the head is staying perfectly still, the body staying perfectly still until those elbows align and then there's that shift in the weight in the hips. Whether you're taking the breath or not, but the head only is rolling up during that breath, but otherwise it's staying perfectly still, keeping the nice broad position across the back and across the shoulders. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have any comments, make some comments and keep watching for more content. Ciao for now.